Online shopping is convenient. Now we have purchasing power through social media apps. Targeted ads and suggested products can suck you in, quickly filling up your digital cart. To help you avoid having to print out a return label, we're going to review products that pique your interest and keep showing up in your feed in a series called Ship or Skip, an unfiltered step-by-step -step test of a product's claim. We start with the Kitchen Cube. The claim? It can make any recipe or conversion a breeze, boasting 19 common cooking measurements and one easy-to-use device. Our testers are Brittany and Kristen in Denton County. This is the Cube. I want to get your first thoughts. I will say I... I kind of love the idea of it all being one thing. If I could simplify my life with something like this instead of my huge junk drawer of stuff, I think that this would probably be the way to go. And I even attempt to like organize my drawer with organize the spoons and all the things. It doesn't make a difference. You're still digging in there. How are we gonna put the cube to the test today? We are gonna make some brownies. Okay, here we go. Okay, cocoa powder. We need unsweetened cocoa powder. We need a fourth cup. If we're doing a quarter of a cup, I mean, how do you like? Well, that's what we gotta figure it out. a huge mess. That's like, a, do we need a spoon? That's a great question. I think we're gonna need a spoon. We need a spoon. Okay, but then how do I have it not go into the other sections? Okay, this is kind of messy. <laughs> Ooh, messy. We need Ooh. two cups of sugar. Okay, I'm gonna let you do this one. I mean, well, okay, but now we're gonna be mixing the chocolate into, or you know, this I bet I could just pour it. Oh, we're pouring. We're pouring. pouring. I'm pretty sure this there is just one cup, though. <laughs> one <laughs> tablespoon of vanilla. Here we go. Here we go. You pour, I hold. I think I got a little extra in there from all the other slots I'm there, sure. but you know, it's a little bit of this, a little bit Whatever. of that. You've tried dry ingredients, you've tried wet ingredients. First thoughts? It's kind of cumbersome. It's kind of a mess. You know, I don't really love it either, but again, going back to thinking about my kids, yeah, kids I do fun. think that this would be something different for them to try. I think that the spoons and cups would be a little bit more accurate. Okay, so, ship or skip? I, I would skip. Skip. The mom duo are actually besties with a background in education. They have a YouTube channel too. It's called Talk to the Hands and you can check it out. And they are regular Daybreak viewers. So good morning, ladies. And yeah, they really thought their kids would enjoy it. I mean, I leave it to moms to have like a birthday party idea planned by the time we left there with everyone getting a cube. But when it came to making like Thanksgiving dinner or a meal for friends, they said no. Yeah, the kids will figure out something else to do with that. So do you have something planned for, is this every week? No, this is not going to okay. be every week yet. So we're asking people if you have a product that you would like to see claim tested, you can email me at ksewell at wfaa.com. Yeah. Uh, and you can let me know the product that you've seen pop up in your social media feed, Amazon homepage, whatever it is, and we'll start keeping a list. Nice. Okay, this will be fun. 